Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Low Budget Late Show. I'm Will Morris, and tonight, uh, well, Caleb is either held hostage, locked out of the building, or he just didn't bother to show up today because he's not here. Uh, so, because I'm so terrified of being alone up here, I asked my good friend Michaela Heinrich to come help me. Please give her a round of applause. So Michaela and I go way back, and the reason I called her on the show today was because uh, we, we have a long broadcast history together. In fact, Michaela and I started out together at CRAP Channel 83 in a town you've probably never heard of. Uh, we were the top newscasters. What is that camera doing there? Thank you, Reed. <clears throat> we were the top newscasters of our day. In fact, some people even recognized us on the street. Well, what prompted me about this was the discovery of some old VHS tapes I found and while cleaning out my trailer. <clears throat> anyway, we've come a long way from those days, but uh, let's take a look back now and reminisce. <laughs> How does this thing even work? Hey, does somebody know how to turn this thing on? <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> welcome to the CRAP Channel 83 News. <clears throat> Sorry, we're a little out of breath, but uh. Some of us had other things to do. <clears throat> now we're covering a breaking story here. Uh, we have a live report from the field about the attempted murder of President Reagan and Michael Jackson. Um, here's Cakes. Cassandra Gymnasty. Cassandra Gymnasty with, with more. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. I'm Cassandra Jasnowski. I'm your live reporter here for KRAP 83. I'm here at Broadway and Hydraulic in front of a, a bank, as you can tell. Um, and I've just encountered a strange individual. Strange sir, what, uh, what brings you to this uh, obscure street corner? What? What brings you here to this bank? Did you happen to be the culprit who robbed this bank? No, man. I tried to assassinate Michael Jackson and Ronald Reagan, you know, man. Oh, we have an admittance for the assassination of Ronald Jackson and Michael they're, Reagan? Is that? They're, they're not dead, man. I didn't do it. The attempt. That was the key word there, sir. Now, sir, can uh, did you happen to see who robbed this bank? Well... I don't know who Is this is this on? Yes. Who's listening to me, man? Uh all of our viewers. Oh. Well, there's this bank here and I don't know, man. I don't know who'd rob it. It kind of looks like a door. It is a oh, it is a door. James. What are you guys doing here? I mean, this studio has to be ready for tomorrow's show. James you can you still can't James. And now we're going to go back to our reporter Will Morris upstairs. I mean uh back back at the studio. Thanks. Hey, you, you ever been to White Castle? No, I haven't. Oh, uh <clears throat> well, uh thank you for that uh uh, a moving live report on location. Wow. Uh, live television, it's great. Uh, well, Michaela just uh, left. I, I guess she had to go to her other job. Um, 
excuse me, excuse me, sir. Uh, this is this is live television. You, you, um, sir, weren't weren't you just in that live report? Man, I was just talking about Zepp. Uh, uh, um, uh, all right then. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and move on. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna make some breakfast. So it's part of the show where we just talk about what we're gonna make on um, breakfast. So I'm gonna start off with a, a very classic breakfast food. Uh, I'm gonna make some eggs. I know that one. And we'll, uh, we'll Dude, throw, we'll throw those in the pan there. Yep. All right. Uh, you would you like? Oh, would you I, like love, to? I love I love breakfast, like to, man. Man, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get this one, man. If you, if you're eating breakfast. All right. Um, you're. Uh, seem to be taking, taking a lot of time there. Um, well, my mom, she taught me to cook, and she said that the the key ingredient is love, and keeping the government out, man. Chicken Alfredo. Fed it, fed it, fed it. Sini. That's that's not a breakfast food. Um, um, Screw you, man. Um, I'm making a contribution to this well, great I'll, nation. I'll go ahead and continue. Uh, we're going to add some... Bacon. Bacon. Uh, it's one of America's most loved breakfast foods. Um, to bacon, and we'll, we'll go ahead and throw that in there. Man, my chair, it, it spins around. Uh, I guess I guess we'll give you one more shot. Uh, you Breakfast food this time, maybe? Um, I know. I know what I want to eat, man. I want to. I know what I want to fry up. Well, throw it in there, man. Um, man, I've been waiting to say this on national television. Is that how the kids talk these days? Yes, it is actually. The freaking government, man. You got, you, you can't, don't don't throw our our government in a, in the pot. That's it's the, it's out of the frying Dude, pan. I just I, got the joke. It I, says crap. I pulled it. I pulled. That's our that's our station code name, and I'd really appreciate it if you did. Hey, um, can, can I get some help over here? Could we uh, move this guy off? Uh, tell you what, we'll be back in just a minute. It's crap, man. Okay, all right. The whole nation. All right. It's crap. K R A P. They're gonna give me a seizure. Um, uh, and we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this time with breaking news. Uh, this just in, um, uh, oh, here it is, um, uh, uh, leg warmers are now illegal in Utah, and right here we have our, our lovely reporter, um, um, uh, don't, t- don't tell me, don't, I, um, okay, Cassandre, right, uh, um, Say it together. We'll say it together. Cassandre Jasnowski. Cassandre Jasnowski here to talk about uh, her reaction to leg warmers being outlawed in Utah. Uh, Cassandre? Well, thank you, William. But first, I have to ask are you from Utah? Because you talk. You talk. You talk. You talk so Let's try, try and uh, soundtrack here. All right. <clears throat> So uh, leg warmers are illegal in Utah. This means that everywhere legs will be going cold and numb, and uh, that means the girls who shave their legs will now even be more cold. So what do you? What's your take on that? I. You said it will. I mean, girls are going to be freezing. And... Now th- this has also started an outbreak of girls who are choosing not to shave their legs, and they're growing them out like animals, so that they can have some type of warmth, a uh, type of fur on their bodies. Now, what do you think of that? Do you think that would? become something that's attractive to the males, or, yeah. uh, what's your take I, on that? I'm appalled by your Neanderthal male perspective on a woman's constitutional right to decide whether or not she wants to shave her is legs. Is that constitutional? It is, uh, you can look in that's, the Constitution. That's what I thought. All right, um, I think it's time for another break. Uh, oh, um, excuse me, now, uh, breaking news, uh, Oh, now we're into some election news. Um, Walter Mondale has just won the presidential election against Reagan. Wow, isn't that fantastic? Yep, let's give a nice round of applause for our President Reagan. <laughs> Mondale. Um, I have this just in. Uh, whoops, we messed up. Uh, that election was years ago. <laughs> uh, now we're going to go to commercial break. Uh, don't turn away. K-R-A-P. Uh, 
the light means we're live. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, up next we have a story about... Um, Do you have that story? Um, oh, uh, here it is. Um, uh, Forrest Gump has walked across the nation for a seventh time. Now, this man truly is a man among boys. Um, his beard now, his beard has reached a total length of six foot and four inches. That's taller than he is. He has, wow. He started to roll it up at the well, bottom so it doesn't uh, go on the ground when he's running across the nation. Uh, what do you what do you think about Forrest Gump? He's running across the nation. Some people call him crazy, but he has amassed quite a cult following. What do you what do you think about that? I mean, I just say run, Forrest, run. I mean, run after your dreams. If he wants to run across the country seven times, let him do it. Well, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen, from Kassan Kassan Kids Cassandre Jazz. Cassandre, run for us, run. We'll be back after the break.